My favorite subject in school was always history. It's still hard for me to put a finger on exactly why, but I always felt like history held a level of interest for me that really nothing else in school ever did. And I remember talking to friends in class about things we were learning and people would say things like, it's just a bunch of names and dates and stuff that doesn't matter anymore. But to me, history never felt like that. To me, history was another word for story. When I'd open a history textbook, I could just almost feel those narrative strands that ran through old battles and treaties and revolutions. Those names and events on the page were real people, real, real occurrences, just as alive and visceral as we are today, feeling hope and fear and joy and pain, just like us. And I was thinking of those memories from history classes this week as I was reading in the book of Psalms. In the Psalms, we see that looking backward to remember what God has done in the past is a key part of the life of faith. The psalmist regularly pauses to reflect on the past, rejoicing in God's work, both individually and for all the people of Israel. And Psalm 66 especially contains this beautiful invitation to look at the past. It says, come and see what God has done. Come and hear what God has done. And I think I especially like this phrase because it's such a clear invitation. An invitation to remember. An invitation to look back and examine our own history. An invitation also to pause, to reflect on the ways in which God has been at work in our lives. A little bit later on in that same psalm, the author writes, We went through fire, and we went through water. But you, O God, brought us out to a place of abundance. Now, if you're anything like me, it's often easier to focus on the part about walking through fire and water than it is to focus on coming into a place of abundance. And these days, we're certainly occupied by many struggles. And that's all right. That's an important aspect of the life of faith. But so is taking time to remember our history. In fact, looking backward, pausing to remember God's work in our lives is a rich and really purposeful act of faith. Because it recenters us. It reminds us that we've seen God at work in the past. And it gives us the strength to trust that God will move again in our lives. We remember old struggles and old fears. And we remember that, like the psalmist, we can say that God has brought us through. God has sustained us. So friends, I invite you to accept that invitation found in the book of Psalms. Take time to examine the history. Look across the chapters of your life and remember the ways in which God has been at work in and around you. And my hope and my prayer is that even if it doesn't make you into a history buff, it will remind you of the truth of God's sustaining love in your life. Amen.